Good morning, my lovelies. I have had a really busy August. Almost didn't get a studio vlog out for you guys. I tried to do at least one a month. Um, it's the latter half of August. So yeah, nearly didn't get one out. Since the last vlog, a lot has been going on. So first of all, I launched the Moon Mail, which is the Patreon goodie boxes. And so far, I've had quite a few little people join us. And I'm so, so excited. I've started designing it all and it's gonna be a spooky, well, not spooky, all. it's gonna be cute Halloween. So yeah, I launched that and I'd say it's been pretty successful so far. I dyed my hair peachy pink. I used to have bright colored hair all the time, but because of my psoriasis, which is on my scalp, I do have to use a lot of medicated shampoos and lotions. So it fades really quickly. As you can tell, it's now basically back to blonde. Um, so yeah, sorry you missed that. I took a whole week off at the beginning of August, which was absolutely lovely. We sorted out the garden. We finally managed to get hold of the bright color fence paint painted our fence, put some lights up and made it really cute. So that was awesome. Um, and then I did plan on doing a studio vlog the week that I came back after my week off, but we had a heat wave in the UK and it was 34 degrees, which it doesn't get to in the UK ever. It was pretty horrendous because we're not just talking like one day here. It was like a week of like 34 degrees with no relief. No one has aircon in the UK unless you're rich. And yeah, um, I couldn't film a studio vlog in my pants basically and that's all I wore for a week. Um, and then, excitingly, my washi tapes arrived for my Kickstarter and I shipped out over 160 parcels just for the Kickstarter. It was mental um, and there was no way I could film it. It was just, it's all I did was pack and then I had massive commissions uh, Missions. I had some massive wholesale orders that came in around the same time as well. That was last week. That was mental. So yeah, it's been pretty full on and I am sorry that I didn't film any of it, but the washi tapes are now in my shop, as are the notepads that you probably saw in the last vlog. So if you do want to head over and have a little look, you can find them on my website. Um, I've always got a link below, so check those out. And I will show you the washi tapes in a second because they are so cute. So, plan today, orders. Pretty much just orders. I launched the washi tapes on Saturday evening. I normally do my launches on a Friday night, but because I had so many to get listed, I had like 15 designs to get photographed, edited, listed. I also got a restock of uh, pins. I had pins that have come through in different colorways, so I've put those on as a separate listing. I restocked sticker sheets. I basically did a huge shop update, so I had to make sure that it was all ready. So I gave myself the extra day until Saturday, and I've now obviously got quite a few orders that I need to process. So today is probably gonna be a packing day. I am finishing work on Thursday this week because I'm having another week and a Friday off. So yeah, need to make sure everything's rounded up for them, them, for then, so I am gonna show you my washi tapes now. Okay, so hopefully the lighting is good enough for you to see this. I'll show you the packaging first. It has got holographic foil on the front, but it's really difficult to capture. And then on the back, I've got kind of all the information about it and there's my logo is in a foil and the top bit here, do you know, I nearly submitted this design with no website or Instagram handle on. I mean, who does that? I do that, that's who. And then lastly, there's this cute little window where you can see the washi tape. Ah, oh, it looks so cute. So yeah, super happy with how they look. Super, super happy with how they look. Let me see if I can um, show you the foil properly. It's dark, but there you go. Oh, there you go. Just gotta catch it at the right angle. So, next up, I am gonna show you the washi tapes. Okay, so first up, we've got our little foxy design, which is really, really cute. And then I've got my little moon phase. So that goes all the way around in the moon phases. We've got our little tiger baby. Oh, I love the tiger. I absolutely love how that came out. And then we've got our herb witch, which I think going forward, I will change because the design is so long. Like rather than it having it repeating 
um, quite often I went for a really long design and what it means is that taking photos of it is really difficult because I would have to like pull out so much just to show you the whole design but I love what's on there so yeah I think going forward I'll just play around with that a bit more and then we've got our little wizarding treats one so that matches all the pins I got for my last kickstarter and then we've got the trinkets design now this is holographic foil but because of the light you can't really see it it is very very subtle next up we've got the space snacks design and this has holographic foil stars but again it's really difficult to see and then we've got our pastel potter one which is all magical things and we've got our fruity design with the cheeky little nook leaf cat paws which people have really, really liked. I'm gonna have to sit on my desk. Let's hope it doesn't collapse. Then we've got our little latte tape. Oh, this is really bad way of showing you. So here's our little latte. And we've got our little birthday bear. With little birthday hats on. Um, this one keeps coming unstuck because I already pulled it out. And this one's facing this way. So this is the autumn design and it's got gold foil stars and little pumpkins and like hot chocolate and leaves and it's really really cute and then this one which is the most popular one which is the magic moon one and it's got like all little moons and stars and crystals and gold foil as you can see so those are all my washi tapes Okay, so before I pack orders, I am going to show you what I got from the lovely Emily Harvey. It's been in quarantine for a few days. Ooh. This is exciting. So I'll show you this in a second. So I got this, ooh, is there two? I think I got two stuck together. Extra bonus. Not sure if she was supposed to send me two. But I got two. How lovely are these stickers? Oh, look, you can see my face. Hello! <laughs> so this is from her new little collection, Magical Things Can Happen. And I had to go on and get myself these stickers, or a sticker. And I also got the matching pin. Let's open that. Oh my god, I love it. Look at that, it's rose gold. I, when I saw her designing it, I was like, oh, I need this pin. Look at it, it's so beautiful. Oh, I love it, absolutely love it. That is right up my street. And then, while I was on there, I decided to get myself some little snack stickers from the Disney parks because, you know, if you can't be there to eat the snacks, not that I could eat them anyway with my dietary requirements, but we can have stickers instead. And then I got this cute little free postcard. Ah, oh, that's cute. Ah, oh, thanks so much, Emily. By the way, this was not gifted, I purchased. <laughs>
story? Well, not funny at all, actually. Um, just took a little lunch break, popped out to the garage, and the whole garage was flooded with like an inch of water. Everything is, is just wet. So I just spent a good amount of time out there trying to sweep the water out of the garage. But yeah, not how I planned to spend my day. So I'm gonna finish packing up the orders or doing the shipping labels for the orders that I already packed. I think I'm gonna have to save the rest for tomorrow now. Don't think I'm gonna get them all done because I do have some other bits and bobs that I need to do as well. <sighs> it's all fun and games. Being an adult sucks. Good morning. It's super grizzly outside. It's all grey and just drizzle. Um, it's quite cosy in here. I've got my little candle on and I've got my little salt lamp. I'm uh, very tired, didn't sleep well. So I think today's gonna be quite a slow day. Nice and, hopefully nice and chilled anyway. Um, we were out last night in the garage. Oh, sorry, in my eye. Yeah, we were out in the garage last night, took all the stuff out of the garage and into the garden because it was dry for a few hours so that it had time to dry out. Plan of action for today is to film my Patreon q and I am gonna be hopefully working on my Patreon goodie boxes. We've still got about a week or just under a week left for sign-ups. I also need to design a postcard for my patrons because we hit our goal on Patreon, which means that everybody who is a Patreon at the time of me designing this postcard is gonna get a free postcard to say thank you. So yeah, um, I'm super excited about that. I've never actually made postcards, so they'll be exclusive to them. And then I'm gonna do some packing of some orders. And that is probably gonna be my day. So hopefully I can show you some of the design work, especially when it comes to the goodie box. I would like to give you a little sneaky preview, but obviously you won't see everything because that's cheating. It's a secret. Okay, so I have been testing um, one of the products that's gonna go in the goodie box. So I don't, I wanna show you right now <clears throat> because when I do show you, I need to give warning in case any of my patrons don't wanna see. It's not going as smoothly as I'd hoped. It's like the foil printing from last vlog all over again. Actually, no, it's, it's not that bad. So far, the ink isn't drying on it. The quality doesn't look great. So I need to do more testing out on that secret squirrels over here i think it's no it's not working patrons if you don't want to know what was potentially going to be in your box and potentially is still going to be in your box turn away now so i will show you plan oh wow let's turn this brightness down was to make these but the ink is not drying at all so without saying so without saying out loud what they are i think you can tell what they were going to be if I show you like this. Oh my, I was stuck to my finger. Ah, help! It doesn't look great print quality. I'm not happy with them, so if I do get them done, it will be done professionally or I will move on to something else. Okay, patrons, you can you can look back now. There's nothing on show. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit disappointing. Okay, I think I'm done. The bad light sleep, I think, is catching up with me a bit. I've spent some more time working on some other bits and I just got quite into it um, which means that the other things I needed to get done today haven't got done and like I said I think it's kind of sapped um, my energy I think the bad night sleep's catching up with me um, I think I'm going to call it there I'm, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore <laughs> words are just falling out of my mouth. It's a little bit of a mess in here, already was because of all the washi tapes. I have no storage for them. I don't know what to do with them. They're just in boxes on the floor. I really need to rethink my storage situation. So that's where I'm at. 
I'm gonna go. I hope you have a good evening and I will check back in with you tomorrow. Good morning. I have just been working on the pink commission that I had to get done and hopefully they'll like the design. I'm going to do some orders, going to do some admin work uh, and I'm definitely going to have to move some work on to after my holiday. I just don't think I'm going to get it done. I need to be realistic. So yeah, that's the situation and off we go. Trying to feel a bit frazzled. Um, I'm feeling a bit frantic. Like instead of working through all of my to-do lists in a normal, sensible order, I'm starting to like do a little bit of this and then like do a little bit of this and then like because I've just got like all the stuff and like I'm just I've got a lot of nervous energy. I think it's just trying to get everything ready so that I can have a week off and enjoy it. It's probably not that much to do, but I feel like it's a lot to do. And yeah, I'm just feeling a bit, a bit frantic, a little bit all over the place, to be honest. Good morning. It's Thursday, which technically is my Friday. Yesterday I packed through a lot of the orders, but didn't ship them, as you can see. And I've still got more left, um, and then I got some overnight. A few things to update you on. I have had these pins. They got delivered. Oh, I, don't, I don't know when they got delivered, but they were missing. Sorry, I'm rustling. Let me, let me finish rustling. This is a restock of my Prophecy Orb pins. And when I placed my last order with my enamel pin manufacturers, they sent some with wrong colours and some pins were missing. Now, the ones that had the wrong colours are the two keys, which I think I showed you earlier in the vlog, but they're still really nice, so I've just put them on my website as a different kind of um, colourway. And the manufacturers are sending me the correct colours through. The ones that were missing were Prophecy Orb pins and the Polyjuice and they've arrived but I've still got some in stock so I hadn't checked them or done anything with them, they've just been sat there waiting for me to get around to doing them. I've just looked and they're completely the wrong colour. It's mainly one colour that's really noticeable but it's just like come on guys. So this is the new one. This is the original. Can you see how darker the colours are? I'm just not happy with the quality and their service at the moment. So that's fun. Luckily I've still got some of these ones in stock, but yeah, it means I'm gonna have to raise that. Second thing is I had Paul up here last night to help me talk about what we're gonna do with regards to my storage and i used to have like open shelves but i don't really like the idea of having open shelving in here because i like the fact that everything can be away now and it is a much cleaner nicer space to be in to encourage creativity and just help with my mood really so i don't really want a big rack with loads of products on show basically after much deliberation going back and forward 
we've decided I'm going to take over Paul's den. So Paul has a man cave. Doesn't use it as much as he used to. We It basically used to be our, our living room. We've now got our main living room downstairs that we, we actually use all the time now. So his den is basically going to be overhauled and it's still his room i'm gonna have like a corner or a wall of the room it's much bigger than this room for packing so last night i had to order a new table and some wooden shelves open storage because i'm not going to be doing creative stuff in there so it won't in theory affect my mindset and it'll be more efficient to just pick stuff off of open shelves rather than in and out of drawers yeah so basically i'm gonna half take over his room and do all of my packing orders in there anyway i'm gonna stop chatting and we're gonna get to it hello my beautiful patrons welcome back to another podcast Right, that's it, I'm done, I'm done. I'm done on everything, everything is done, ready for my week off, other than edit this vlog. It's three o'clock on Thursday afternoon, so the likelihood is, is that I'm not gonna get it all edited today, but I can make a start, I finish it tomorrow, and hopefully it will be up ASAP for you guys, but my patrons do get early access to vlogs, so uh, it's probably not gonna be up Friday. Might be up Friday night, depends what time I finish it on tomorrow whether it's a satisfactory amount of time for my patrons viewing yeah everything's done orders are packed i'm running out of battery i had to give you a little top up so that i can film this last little segment <laughs> i'm gonna start transferring all of these files over and get editing so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it the next vlog will probably be me moving a load of stuff downstairs into Paul's den. If you're new to the channel, I'd love it if you could give me a little subscribe and a little thumbs up on the video would be amazing. And I hope you all have an amazing week while I'm sat at home doing nothing. I will see you again very, very soon.